everything is going to be great. Good morning, everybody. We're now in the Cabo Hotel, which is one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever stayed in. Just thought I'd give you a quick run through our honeymoon suite here in Cabo Tagu. The bags on there, the sun has now come to this little private pool area. It's a, actually a really nice pool. It's not, there's one point here where I can't even stand, so it's not just like a nothing, and there's a little jacuzzi area over there. What I really like about this suite in particular is that you get the most privacy, so no one's really uh, kind of like looking into you. You're like the last room, room number 26, in case you're wondering, and then um, all below are the other rooms. It's a little bit messy already. Uh, there's the bed area and the beautiful balcony for like drinks or you can have breakfast here if you prefer. The view is just, I mean, the view is honestly really insane over here. The bathroom, which I actually love so much and it's my favorite aspect of this room. It's over here. I really love it. I love the shadows from this ceiling the double shower which is so beautiful honestly for me this is what i want to have in my home one day the copper sinks i mean and now i'm heading to the pool because i really want to get some tan today for breakfast two poached eggs this is the first thing that i'm gonna eat today i still haven't even had a sip of my coffee because i was taking some pictures doing some stories but now it's time to eat Okay guys, it's very windy, very very windy by the pool today, but that's the island life. I've just ordered my uh, Freddo latte with almond milk and cinnamon. I told you guys how much I love this uh, bikini. This is like my favorite, favorite bikini uh, for the beach, but at the moment I am actually in the, on this sunbed working because I need to make sure that the videos go live on time. However, I cannot complain if this could be my office every day, all day, all year. I would definitely choose this. We actually changed the room for the last night in Santorini, but like I said, I'm wearing my favorite, favorite, favorite Dior bikini, which honestly was like the best purchase because it's the best for sunbathing. I'm loving the colors. It's very, very... Um, minimalist and beautiful but the view I perhaps like even better than the previous one so I'm really happy here I love this little corner in the shadow now it's time for lunch so I'm gonna update you when we get upstairs but just so you can see how lucky I feel in here I have tried to eat relatively healthy during this trip and honestly, I think I somewhat managed to succeed because I've eaten mostly like fish, grilled octopus, grilled salad. But then yesterday, I discovered this crispy chicken burger with avocado guacamole. And I don't eat the top bun or the potatoes, but this chicken is probably the most insane thing I have ever had. And I just really, really love this lunch. I went to bed last night even dreaming about the lunch. A small change of scenery because uh, it's our last day in Santorini and we're going on a boat. Uh, Cabo Tabu has a boat which you can take for like for example, I don't know, like a sunset cruise uh, to have a look at the like different little islands around here and that's what we're gonna do now and I'm super excited so I've changed my look. company and now we're gonna have a look around and bring you with us I'm super actually excited because this boat is honestly so beautiful water in Santorini it's so beautiful light is also so beautiful just had a swim I changed my swimming suit love it it's beautiful <laughs> just got the best fruit salad look at this like arrangement you guys it looks so pretty feeling so grateful for this moment salad sea sun very very happy 
Good morning everybody and welcome to Paris, back to Paris. So many of you are actually excited that I'm back here because you guys said how much you love when I'm vlogging from home. I guess this is uh, the current situation. You guys are loving the Paris vlogs. I arrived yesterday and it took me forever to unpack because I was also like reorganizing some stuff, having the long decision making processes. And this morning I had to stay at home we wanted to go to the museum, but I had to stay at home because I have to do like a lot of admin work, stuff that you guys don't really see. I have to do some like uh, tax work. The work is really starting to kind of like heat up. And um, in the meanwhile, I got a beautiful bouquet of flowers. It's here, so let's put it in a vase. And with the bouquet of flowers, also some croissants. I said this morning I'm really craving croissants, so I got some. Let's see. Will the camera stay on here? Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at this. Okay, let's see. By the way, if I love something, I love flowers. And I was like stressing out a little bit this morning because A, he didn't want the work that I have to do and B, because of the amount of changes that are happening in my life, I'm very, very strong mentally, but you know, Sometimes when you change home and then there's still like other stuff pending that could again affect my life and make it like change one more time and a lot of things going on in my private life that could completely change my life. So not pregnancy because people always assume like, oh my God, are you pregnant? And the reason why I don't ever talk about hardships in life is not because I try to portray that I have a perfect life absolutely not but it's because i hate pt like i'm a person and i'm sure a lot of you will be able to relate to this let me know in the comments below if any one of you is like this i hate people pitying me if i close a finger in the door and there are other people around i'm never gonna make a scene out of it because i hate people making fuss around me i don't like when people are like oh my god are you okay oh my god oh my god i'm just gonna like uh, like it's gonna be painful but i'm gonna shut up about it because i really really feel so uncomfortable when people are pitying me or feeling sorry for me and it's just not what I want online either okay let's put these flowers in the water now this morning I was stressing a little bit because a lot of things are happening and I'm, I'm managing but sometimes it's a little bit too much these flowers are so beautiful let me see if the length is perfect it's perfect yes let's throw the, the paper and put some water in it so beautiful the reason why I told you that is because the card says everything is going to be great. These are the flowers. I really, really love them. Beautiful pink roses. So sunny, but kind of cold. I also wanted to show you that I've unpacked. I've changed some stuff around here. I decided to place some of my handbags over here. The light is not the best. I'm really sorry about that. Here you can have a little overview of some of my bags. And then the shoes decided to place in here. In case you want to see, here you can probably see a lot more because, I mean, I love Amina Moadi. The shoes are so comfortable. I wear them a lot. You can see some of the new pairs over here as well. These four actually. I got a new pair from Neos. I think that's how you pronounce the brand. I love them so much. Actually, it was a gift from the brand. I love it. Then we got a pair of Chanel, like classic shoes i got these because uh, on sale in chanel they were like 300 pounds and i thought that was a really good snatch and then i got two pairs of jimmy shoes gifted from the brand i love them i will link them below for you guys to see as well everything else you have seen and i have listened to you and placed my amina muadis one facing me one facing back so that i can fit in five pairs how amazing is that and now what I need to do, I really need to organize my space, my time, my activities, errands, things that I need to do because I actually have a job next week, beginning of the next week, actually shooting a cover. So it's very exciting, but I have to finish everything until then because that's kind of going to take a bit of time and space from home. I actually really enjoy being at home and I have a lot of, like I told you, things that are happening, like changes in my life. I, I might like... I don't want to talk more about it because it's just unfair that I'm not giving more information, but I'm not, I'm not able to because things are changing every day. So if I tell you one thing, 
they, it might change next day and then if, you know what i mean so i will sort of like sit down and talk to you a little bit more about that soon and in the meanwhile i'm working here actually those are my croissants that i got with a coffee i'm working here because i'm just really enjoying being in this space at the moment good morning everybody how are you my favorite people as you can see i am currently back into our usual spot morning coffee um just downstairs missing Cindy and jorgen this morning because usually they come to have coffee together with us but they're coming back i believe tomorrow sunday yes tomorrow they're coming back tomorrow so tomorrow i'm gonna see them for dinner and that makes me very happy it's kind of dark but hopefully <laughs> Why is my phone not working? What's been going on? I go back to Paris, as you guys know, and I will be in Paris for three more days, if you don't count today. So overall, for mm, yeah, three more days, more or less. And then on Tuesday, I actually have a job in um, south of Italy. So I will be going there for actually a cover shoot. Things are kind of, I don't know, like things are getting... Uh, calmer it's August and we'll see what's gonna happen in September in terms of fashion week so everything is so up in the air no one really knows what's going on um, I'm, I'm not thinking about obviously like traveling to New York as many of you have asked me I'm not planning on traveling to New York but um, there will be like some sort of digital fashion weeks for sure which I do intend on following so yeah everything is very very undetermined unknown there are not really many plans some people are saying that there will be a second wave some people are saying there won't be you know i'm still trying just to be very very safe and not really going many places as you could have seen yesterday i stayed at home uh, mainly because i had to actually catch up with the emails i'm basically just doing uh some things and not the others and i'm trying to kind of like take this time to reflect to take it easy and then We'll see how everything will be. Guys, it's lunchtime and I'm bringing you to Ramen Place. There's always a queue outside of this place and it looks like a market. I cannot even explain to you. It smells like a fish market and it's really like um, you can find anything here. And this is where you eat. This is what it looks like. The queue is always insane. Having the yuzu uh, lemonade, I mean. Uh, this looks very, very authentic and I love Yuzu, by the way. One thing that you need to know is this week you have to wear a mask in all the inside places, which we did anyway, by the way. But this place is really something else. Like, I feel like I'm in Japan or Asia in general because it feels like an Asian market. Okay, we got some edamame, gyoza, which I love, by the way, and look how fresh this gyoza looks. Gyoza is basically like Italian food in Japan. And this is the, I believe, seabrim carpaccio. Looks insane. We got two ramens, one with the um, smoked miso uh, soup and one with the white uh, miso soup. Super excited. Still the same day, we had our ramen lunch. I just had to change because I got home smelling like a fish love it and i uh, had to change immediately put uh, the like stuff already in the wash because the smell was so strong it's like that place was really incredible there's always a queue outside of the restaurant that looks like a at least half an hour 45 minute queue it's beautiful inside as you could have seen it's kind of like a market in tokyo or something like that the food is like insane the only thing is that there's always a queue and then of course afterwards you know you end up smelling like fish which is okay because the experience is incredible yesterday i received a parcel of like things that i ordered from another stories so i wanted to show you what was in it because like i said at some point in this video i will be traveling um to italy so i uh, wanted to bring these things with me to shoot and in the meanwhile I wanted to show you what was in there so let's start I mean, first thing that I that caught my eye was this dress I will be trying everything on as we proceed so you guys uh, can see what it all looks like on I really love the sleeves on this and I love the way it looks like on so here is the dress the first dress that caught my eye oh my god I forgot to show you one thing completely wait a second 
I just remember that I forgot to show you the sandals that I got. This is kind of hard. You might remember that I have the same pair in purple and I love them so much. For me, they're super comfy, very minimalist and also work with pretty much every look, including this one. I remember that this would work so well with my Birkin Thetty in Cray. I love this bag. I haven't still worn it out, but I think it's going to have a little premiere very soon, a little first outing. So I think this look is quite cute, very easy, very excited to wear it. Then with the same kind of uh, color pattern, I got this beautiful cardigan because actually even in the summer months, in the evenings, it kind of gets cold and I really love this cardigan, specifically the little heart buttons. I got something similar kind of in November and I wore it a lot, so I really wanted to have a blue one as well, which looks beautiful with so many different things, especially with color blockings, if you look it colors like this. I got this little cute purple top that I adore with a beautiful kind of lacy part on the top and around the neck. I will link everything below so you guys can find it out. Another store is also running a sale in the moment. A little skirt which I intend on wearing with that purple top. Now you can see the skirt and the cardi stuff together. I mean this skirt is just am amazing because you can also style it with a little like crop top, it's quite easy, you know, like a very, I love this kind of vibe, of a little bit shiny, but uh, mint color, but I think it also goes very cute with the cardigan, it reminds me so much of the 90s. So I love the buttons, I love that you can see all the necklaces that I layered, of course, and I think these sandals still work well. What do we think? Yes or no? Another look that I think is perfect for summer and not too expensive. Uh, I styled it with Lachshar bag that I have my Nano Fendi baguette inside but you can put anything, you can even put like a little wallet or whatever you want to be seen because it's see-through but kind of broken see-through it actually comes with two chains so you can choose if you want to wear the see-through one or the gold one but you can put it on the shoulder and I think it's uber adorable another black top, this could be even my favorite piece of everything I think this is so wearable also when autumn winter comes because, well maybe not winter but autumn for sure, like under a blazer with jeans or right now with shorts and sandals such a beautiful but easy piece, like embroidered I put my hair off because I think you really need to see the beauty of this top and with my dark hair it gets lost if um, the hair is down it's so stunning the detailing, if I come closer you can see the kind of like embroidery um, a lot of you usually ask me what kind of bra I would wear with this type of top I think either just nipple, like new nipple covers or uh, your skin color bra and you know that should work rather than the black I always prefer the kind of look which is almost saying that you don't have anything underneath and just to show you how exactly how I intend on wearing it I'd love to wear this uh, cute top with denim shorts because I think it adds it a little bit of edginess like kind of more city flair to the look um, I love these shorts I know you guys do too I think they're super flattering and with this top it's just a winning combo so then another cardi this reminds me super of the 90s it has these little tiny buttons in the front. I really love it. I think it's so cute as well. Again, with the jeans, with the skirts, even with the next piece that I'm going to show you, which is a blue, kind of like a, almost maxi, but I would say more like a midi skirt. This really needs to be ironed, but hopefully you will get the idea when you see what it looks like on. I'm sorry about the state of the skirt because it's so beautiful. I just wish you could really see it. The steamer is in the post. Also though, I could put on the blue cardigan with this, which I will try to do, but I also like the kind of like this this color blue, this like sky blue, with um, this little 90s, super 90s, tight crop cardigan with tiny little buttons, but I think this could also work well with the chunkier cardigan, which I'll show you now. And here it is with uh, this little thing. Now, for example, I would wear, when I'm trying to style these two together, something tight and something chunky, I put on a belt here so that you don't have to tuck it in. And then just imagine it looking like this. But I put a belt so that it doesn't have this little bump. I'll show you how. So you put like a thin belt, it doesn't matter which color because it won't be visible. I'm just looking in the mirror to see that I do it. Of course, you need to put it through the little leather thing. So this is how you can style it without getting a bulge here on your stomach, but having like a cropped knit and still showing 
a bit of waste. And also this is a little bit more of a grown-up look, but I think it's so chic. And I'm loving this kind of more Parisian, sophisticated, chic look. Maybe it's the influence of the city. So that's it when it comes to my another story purchases. I just really wanted to show them to you before going off to Italy because you will be seeing them as I wear them over there. Okay guys, since this vlog was a little bit of everything, like a mix of Santorini and there's so much that I'm gonna be doing in Paris for the next two days, I thought I'd stop the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too much all over the place, but the next one will be more about like Paris and then um, just all the stuff that I'm doing in order to prepare for south of Italy. So yeah, that is it. I'm wishing you all a wonderful day. I hope you're all good, you're staying safe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, guys.